Great God day to you all. Welcome to a brand new series. You probably read the title already, but in case you haven't and you just jumped right in, this new series is about losing your history so that you can make history. Once again, it's about losing your history, that past, that bottomless pit, so that you can make history. And I'm actually gonna read off of a sheet right here because this is a pretty complicated quote that I read many years ago from Wayne Dyer. And the quote reads as such, I know of no more encouraging fact than the unquestionable ability of a man to elevate his life by a conscious endeavor. Once again, I know of no more encouraging fact than the unquestionable ability of a man to elevate his life by a conscious endeavor. That quote directly led to this series in about uncovering who you are, about uncovering your gifts, and how they will allow you to lose your history so that you can make history. And how I came to this realization was because every night at eight o'clock before I close my eyes, I have a conversation with God and the conversation goes like this. Hey God, it's John here. I just wanted to check in real quickly and thank you for revealing my gifts to me as broken as I was, as lost as I was. And God, I know that no more happiness comes to me than multiplying these gifts. So before I go to bed tonight, I want to ask you, what is it that you want me to do with my life tomorrow? And sometimes I don't get an answer. And my mother always said, if you don't get an answer, it means you're right where you need to be. And if you get an answer, you act on the answer. Well, many months ago, I asked the question, and I got an answer. And the answer in my interpretation was, I want you to be like a Mother Teresa in the prison system. And as the team at DLI and I had completed this life-changing curriculum, I thought, man, what a great gift to go into a prison and teach some of this material to people who never had fathers. So I finally completed my paperwork and I drove to the prison to get fingerprinted and it was a low security prison and there was lots of prisoners milling about. And I got out of the car, I went to the administration office and I was surrounded by a bunch of prisoners. It was a low security prison. And all I felt towards these people was this overwhelming love, this overwhelming peace, this overwhelming sense to want to encourage them, and all of the negative thoughts disappeared out of my head, all of the worry disappeared out of my head, and it was all replaced with just like this flowing, flowing love. And I had a great time there my first time, interacting with them, interacting with the staff, and just spreading love and joy. And of course, I left the prison eventually, fortunately, and I got in my car, and I have a very hardened heart. I'm, a, I'm acknowledging, and I have a very hardened heart. And I always sense that God's trying to soften my heart for the next phase of the journey. And I felt very emotional. I pulled over to the side of the road, and I shed a few tears. And I shed a few tears because, and this is probably going to sound odd, but it's the truth. A, my heart had gotten softened, and B, I thought there was all of these staff members who I didn't know. Some of them didn't even treat me that good considering I was, I drove way out of my way to volunteer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And these prisoners that were there, I don't even know what they did, but I just wanted to love them. That's it. And I felt emotional because I thought to myself, my God, my God, it was easier to love these staff members 
who some of them were pretty hard on me. And it was easier to love these incarcerated people who I don't know what they did. And I had an easier time loving them than loving myself. And I had an easier time loving them than sometimes, sometimes loving my own family. Now my, my family would all say, oh, John, he, he loves us. He loves us, he loves us, but that's true. But at times it's very hard. So I immediately got on the phone with my spiritual mentor, Nathan. Uh, he's a pastor and he's part of DLI. And I shared this emotion with him, which was a tough one to share. I mean, it was slightly embarrassing, but it's what it was. And he said, it's easy, John, of why that answer is. You don't have a history with any of them. And then I dialed up God on the prayer line and I prayed to God and I got the same exact answer. Now, the reality though is it shouldn't be that way. And that's why this series was born. And why in this series, we're gonna teach you ways to lose your history so that you can make history and have what it is that we all want in life, the greatest treasure of it all, love. The greatest treasure of it all is love. Nelson Mandela once said, although some people say it wasn't really Mandela, some people say it was Marianne Williams, that our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate, but that it is we are powerful beyond measure. Our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate, but that we are powerful beyond measure. I've been thinking about that quote many, many, many years. And that day, it really sunk into me what it means. And when we are fully free to love and not listen to all the noise of society and to know that love is our mission to become a team of yes for the army of love, we will become powerful beyond measure. In the second part of this series of what I want you to explore is what conscious endeavor can you go on to leave the world a better place? And then I want you to be thinking throughout this series on who you need to become to go on that quest. And Kaylee, when she does her part, she's going to tell you who that is and she's going to give you a really fun assignment to discover what's really inside. Love you all. We'll see you Friday. Good day, my great, great friends. Like Dad said, this series is about losing your history so you can make history. And to do that, you must become the greatest version of yourself. So your activity this week before next week's video is to take a piece of paper and write down what the greatest version of yourself would look like. Please hit like, subscribe, and share.